We are at Christchurch for the exhibition match between New Zealand and Sri Lanka. With me in the commentary box is Jim Maxwell. Thanks, Richie. The weather's delightful here today. Sunny and hot, just perfect conditions for cricket. Uh, the outcome is that Fleming won the toss and elected to bat. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they've made the right decision as the match develops. There's a cracking atmosphere in the ground today. We're hoping for a really good contest. So let's take a look at the teams. Here's the lineup for New Zealand. Vincent, Sinclair, Fleming, Ashtol, McMillan, Marshall, McCullum, Vettori, Tuffy, Bond and Butler. And here's the lineup for Sri Lanka, Adipadu, Jaya Saria, Jaya Wardner, Arnold, Summer Awira, Kuna Wardner, Sangakar, Vas, Moor Litteran, Fernando and Malinga. Well, first over of the innings. Vincent facing. Vass to Vincent. Stopped by Arnold. Vass, the ball to Vincent. expertly into the gap. There's the first runs of the day for New Zealand. Sinclair waiting at the striker's end. It's straight at Adapadu. Vass to Sinclair. Very good over. Only one offered in the end. Vincent waiting at the striker's end. It's straight to a fielder. Vincent facing. It's straight to a fielder. Moor Litteran, the ball to Vincent. Kuna Wardner is after it. That's racing away to the bound. Well, he's seeing it like a beach ball out there now. He loves the ball in that area. Great shot. Four runs. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Vincent facing. Ball signal by the umpire. The umpires are pretty strict on wide deliveries in one-day cricket, so you need to keep the ball. Moore Litteran to Vincent.
Vincent waiting at the striker's end. Summer Wira is in pursuit, pushed into the gap. Summer Wira just picks that up inside the rope. Just one run. Wira Litteran, the ball to Sinclair. Six runs off Mura Litter. Sinclair absolutely smashed that for six. He smashed that a long way. Quite to watch for the neutral, but the ball up one to two now. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Vass at the start of his run up. Continues. Stop by Arnold. Vass continues. Vincent facing. An easy single there to Vincent. Vass, the ball to Sinclair. through the covers. That's the first boundary for Sinclair. Vincent waiting at the striker's end. Russ and the batsman in trouble with that one. Two runs were picked up from that over by Vincent. This partnership is now 14. Rural Litteran continues. Litteran to Sinclair. Oh, that is an excellent shot by Sinclair. The drive is a beautiful shot to watch, but played well, and that was a perfect return. We can have a look at that again. Moore Litteran to continue with his offspin. It's great at Jaya Surya. Moore Litteran, the ball to Sinclair. Stopped by Adapadu. Sinclair facing. Adapadu is after that one. Played into the gap. Moore Litteran to continue with his off spin.
Vincent scored seven runs from North Balls. This was how the innings ended for Vincent. Change of bowling. Sinclair is now on strike. Malinga is switching to round the wicket. Richie, the role of the umpires is becoming more demanding and it seems to be the actions of the players that are making it so. Over-appealing and charging of the umpires is uh, not only bad to watch, but it's rapidly becoming a scourge of the modern game. Sometimes, I believe, it's close to attempted intimidation. Sinclair waiting at the striker's end. Sinclair facing. Get straight to a fielder. Malinga to Sinclair. Sinclair waiting at the striker's end. Arnold is in pursuit. That's a big hit. It's six. Uh, that was six as soon as he hit it. What an effortless shot. Brilliant. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Change in the bowling for Sri Lanka. Fernando, the ball to Fleming. Fernando has got him. Excellent ball. Keep it straight. The batsman makes a mistake. He's out. Fernando gets his first wicket. Fleming is out for a duck. Out first ball. He might just as well have stayed in the dressing room. This was how the wicket fell. Astor is the new batsman for New Zealand. Fernando, the ball to Astor. Fernando is coming around the wicket. Watch out! Can't afford to miss the straight pass. Comprehensively well. Fernando gets his second wicket. So then, that's the end of Astor. Well, he certainly wasn't out in the middle for very long. This was how the wicket fell. The next bat, McMillan waiting at the striker's end. Ooh, that looked quite nasty. Fernando to McMillan. Fernando has got him. Oh, he really made a mess of the stumps there. It's the third wicket now for Fernando.
McMillan makes his way back to the dressing room. That's an extremely long walk when you've been distanced for a duck. This was the end of the innings for McMillan. Marshall is the next man in. Marshall facing. Superb catch that is. Superb stuff. What a catch. That'll give his team a huge boost. Fernando gets his fourth wicket. We can have a look at that again. McCullum is the next batsman in. McCullum to face the hat trick ball. Work that into the gap. That's over the rope. Six runs off Fernando. Fernando, not like that at all. Well, he just picked that right off his nose and smashed it over the boundary. Thrilling to watch. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Malinga continues. Moves on to Nadine. Malinga to McCullum. It's straight to a fielder. They have five wickets in hand. McCullum facing. Saria is after that one. Stroke through the covers. Picked up by Jaya Saria. An easy single there to McCullum. Malinga continues. It's straight at Arnold. Sinclair waiting at the striker's end. Malinga, the ball to Sinclair. Very good over. Only two offered in the end. Fernando continues. Fernando, the ball to McCullum. after it. Smash that one right out of the ground. McCullum takes his score to 13. Well, he really hit that a long way. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. McCullum facing. They have Five wickets in hand. Fernando continues. Uh, 
Arnold is in pursuit. Arnold is not going to reach that. He found the gap with precision. Magnificent shot. The on drive is one of the hardest shots to play. And he is one of the great exponents. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. McCullum waiting at the striker's end. So then, that's the end of McCullum. This was how the wicket fell. Vettori comes in at number seven. Fernando continues. That's through. See the first bowling change. Sinclair to face an over of spin. Don Bowl. He seemed to completely mischance the delivery and ended up playing all around. Jaya Surya gets his first wicket. Sinclair is finally out for 19. This was the end of the innings for Sinclair. Bond is the new batsman for New Zealand. Jai Surya to Bond. He's really given that away. Six runs. The 50 is up for New Zealand. Great strike. It looked like six the moment he struck. We can have a look at that again. Jai Surya, the ball to Bond. Guna Wardner is chasing that one. It's over the rope. Six runs off John Surreal. Exciting stuff. He took a risk, but was well rewarded as the ball disappeared over the fence. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Bond facing. at the striker's end. Guna Wardner is after that one. Oh, that is an excellent shot by Bond. We can have a look at that again. Jai Surya to Bond. Guna Wardner is after it. He's got it into the gap. That's over the rope. Six runs to Arturo Surya. That's a demoralizing sight for any ball seeing the ball sail over the fence. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. We're about to see a change in the bowling. Tuffy is now facing.
stopped by Jaya Saria. They have two wickets in hand. Sabra Wira to Tuffy. Guna Wardner is in for shoot. Superb shot. He's packed that straight down the ground. Magnificent shot. The on drive is one of the hardest shots to play. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Tuffy waiting at the striker's end. That's racing away to the cover boundary. He found the gap with precision. What a superb cover drive. He got his foot to the pitch of the ball, kept it down nicely, lovely follow through. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Tuffy facing. Yep. He runs here. Six. You seem to hit that here, it sailed over the ropes. It doesn't really matter if it goes in the air if you hit it that far. We can have a look at that again. Summer a wheeler, the ball to Tuffy. Guna Wardner is chasing that one. The fielder's not going to reach that one. Bowler didn't do too much wrong there. It was just an excellent shot. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Summer Awira bowled the last ball of the innings. Summer Awira has got him. He was bowled all over the place. Innings has ended with a score at. 84. That's a pretty huge total by New Zealand. That will be a difficult total to chase for. Summer Awira gets his first wicket. Tuffy makes his way back to the dressing room. Straight to a fielder. Bond the ball to Adapadu. It's in the air. Safely taken by Fleming. That was a bad shot. Really seemed to lose concentration. Bond gets his first wicket. Back in the pavilion with a big round zero to his name. This was how the innings ended for Adapadu. Jaya Wardner is the next man in. Jaya Wardner facing. just as well have stayed in the dressing room. This was how the wicket fell. Arnold is the next batsman in. Arnold to face the hat-trick ball. Over the rope, six runs off on. That's the first boundary of the innings for.
for Sri Lanka. Bowler well, can't believe it, but it is out of the ground. Six runs. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Arnold waiting at the striker's end. Seventy-nine runs required. Bond to Arnold. Struck in front. Umpire raised his finger and he's out. That was a good decision by the umpire under a lot of pressure. We can have a look at that again. Jai Surya is now on strike. waiting at the striker's end. The sweeper picks up. Field has appeal, but uh, he was quite comfortably home. Two runs. Tuffy to Jaya Surya. off the batsman's pads. Umpire's uh, signalling that as leg butt. Tuffy, the ball to Summer Aguera. is Guna Wardner. Guna Wardner facing. Very close to the stumps. Sri Lanka require 76 to win. Tuffy, the ball to Guna Wardner. that in uh, slow motion. Bond to begin a new over. That's cleared the boundary, six runs. That's the first boundary for Jaya Samir. He absolutely loves to play that shot. It's a big run score for him. We can have a look at that again. Jaya Surya waiting at the striker's end. Fleming sprinting along the boundary. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Magnificent shot. The on drive is one of the hardest shots to play, and he is one of the great exponents of it. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Bond continues. to Jaya Surya. He's got onto that one. He loves to sweep the spinners and it can spoil the bowler's line. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Jaya Surya facing.
It'll be okay, but uh, that will be very, very sore in the morning. Bond continues. Swept away. That's over the rope. Six pounds are on. On, don't like that at all. His sweeping is quite brilliant at times. Marvellous. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Tuffy to Kuna Wardner. So then, that's the end of Kuna Warden. This was how the innings ended for Kuna Warden. The new batsman is the left-handed Sangakar. Tuffy continues. goes Vettori was after that one fielded in the deep by Vettori those are the first runs for Sangakara Sangakara waiting at the striker's end and there it goes Vettori is chasing that one Just one run, Swimmer. Tuffy continues. That's gone high in the air. Safely taken by Marshall. That was an important catch. He did very well to hang on. That's the third wicket now for Tuffy. This was how the wicket fell. Vass, Vass facing. I think he'll be okay. It'll, it'll sting a bit though. Oh, that looked quite nasty. Well, that's off the batsman's pads. Was uh, signalling that as leg bar. Tuffy, the ball to Sangakar. Vass is now on strike. Good runs here. Oh, that is an excellent shot by Vass. Super shot by Vass. That came right out of the meat. Excellent shot. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Butler, the ball to Vass. Outstanding catch. Well done, the field. Really backed up the ball was there. Butler gets his first pick. This was the end of the innings for Vass. Fernando, Fernando, facing. Great at Bond. Fernando waiting at the striker's end.
So they need 42 to win from 32 balls. Butler to Fernando. Vincent is after it. He just runs that one down to third man. Double here. The umpire signalling for the third umpire for this one. He's out. Malinga facing. And the end of the over. The required run rate is around eight and over. McMillan to bowl to Moore Litter. in the air. It was really well judged. It went a long way up. He kept his concentration really well. He had a long time to think about that before it came down. It's all over. That's the last wicket. So, to sum up then, New Zealand win by 40 runs. Thanks for joining us for today's play. We very much look forward to your company at the next match. <laughs>